Hi there. Hop in. I'll show you guys how we build stuff on the Sand Hill Central. And when we're all done, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Here I am going forward, trying to take a scoop of snow, which then I spun out, so I picked the bucket up to back up, tried it again, got a little further, spun out again. I have to pick the bucket up because that's where that flopper derail is. I hit it the first time with the bucket, stopped me, so I have to slowly pick it up over the flopper derail and drop it back down. So here I take another run for it, getting a little bit further every time. Slowly spinning my way through, getting traction. Backing up one more time, taking a run for it. Backing up again. Here I am, slowly making my way out of the rip track, pushing snow. Here I spin out. I pick the bucket up, turn the bucket to the side, and dump the bucket full of snow. This is what's nice about the speed swing and not having to set off or get stuck. So I back up, put the bucket back on the rail, leave the chain loose and I trudge forward one more time. Notice how high we are. This is from the side. We're pushing a decent amount of snow but it's not too high over the top of the rail. There is a slight berm. Notice the wheels are going backwards for the high rail wheels to go forwards. You can barely see the ties. This is a backwards view. This is a nice track that we're plowing and the small side berms on the side that we can clean up later. Notice the large pile of snow we're pushing. Eventually the bucket fills up and we'll have the side dump again. There's that chain I keep talking about. Notice how it's loose. So if we hit a rail joint, there's flex in the bucket. Here I am getting out. This is from plowing the full 1400 feet and coming back around to the rip track where we first started. Now remember this snow gets hard so here I am sweeping out the points so I can throw the switch so we don't run through it. And then once we throw the switch 
I'll drive through pushing snow and then we'll make a reverse move to back back into the rip track and set off. Not too bad of a plow job. Had to back up a few times. Looks like I'm uh, leaking some diesel fuel. But what's nice about that speed swing weighing uh, 38,000 pounds is you can drive right over this stuff and it just turns it to dang near water or slush just like a train because of the weight. Looks like I'm leaking a little bit of diesel fuel. Probably should get that looked at. I was always wondering what I was leaking. But a uh, couple high planks. Looks like I hit some of my crossing nails a few times. Not bad. I was kind of worried about that. Hit that one pretty good. But overall, not bad. I only had to lift up for two joints, I think on the whole 1400 foot loop. So that wasn't bad at all. Did a pretty nice job. Here you can tell I lifted the bucket once. Must have been, yep, that joint there. I leave it in a float a little bit. I welded new brackets on the bucket and what I did is I didn't weld a top bracket like for the stinger. It has that long um, shaft like piece of metal. What I did is I just wrapped a big chain around the top of the bucket and where the pin for the cylinder where you bolt the stinger to. So that way the bucket, I kind of leave it floating so if we hit like a crossing or a rough joint it'll just kind of float for me I did hit a few times but I stopped backed up the only crappy thing about plowing is I wouldn't clean your switches out very good before you plow because all you're gonna do is fill them in and that one I had to throw three times so I just took the broom like you guys saw and swept it out um it's best to get to these right away because this plowed snow is going to pack really hard and it's minus 20 today so this stuff is going to set up like a brick i mean by tomorrow we'll probably be able to uh downhill ski on it so we kind of hit two birds with one stone i kind of made a Made a snowshoe and a ski trail, and we were able to plow off the track. Once I got enough momentum out of the uh, rip track here, rail's kind of slippery. Once I got out of there, I pretty much just kept plowing, as you guys see. There wasn't too much snow on top of the rail. I could just imagine the next time it snows which I probably won't keep up on it too much longer unless we start getting, you know, a little bit of snow at a time, a guy can take care of it. But any more snow, and I would have probably been having to stop, scoop the snow, put it to the side, back up, drive forward, go till I spin out, stop, put the snow to the side. That's kind of what I had to do right here. And I did have to pick up a little bit for the derail that flopper derail sticks up a little high. But what I'm probably gonna do is I'll probably just leave that up, or I mean down. 
for the rest of the winter because there's no point to probably put that back up even if we could get it back up but those floppers uh, those pick up pretty easy in the snow we go clean that out in the stand it'll probably uh, pick up for us but I was spinning a little bit here I was plowing gravel with the bucket and obviously it's frozen so that's probably why I was spinning there I see we found the weed mower there almost hit that but that chain thing what I was talking about this is what I did here this bucket must have been off of a different speed swing so I used the same pins and just welded those uh, brackets on. But this was that chain thing. There's where your pin is for your stinger for the post. And I just wrapped that chain, put the loop with the pin, wrapped it around, stuck the hook there. And then when I put the bucket down on the rail, I leave this floppy and loose. So that way if we hit something that's got a little bit of give, we don't break anything. But yeah, I moved a lot of snow. Didn't break anything that I know of. And it started. There's some snow stuck in there. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to share with your friends and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to climb aboard and help us build the railway, don't forget to spike down that like button for more episodes.